And obviously building my clientele lived in maryland for four years and then got comfortable where i'm like you know doing the thing and it's like mm -hmm. okay we're actually going to eventually move to texas and then having to start again i would say moving from maryland to texas wasn't so hard because i did it from across the pond like from a country Correct. so that whole idea of starting again it hurts it would hurt your business however i believe that if you work hard and you put yourself out there you're gonna you, you're gonna you're gonna make it i right. moved end of 2019 literally Four months after we moved here, no, five months after we moved here, the pandemic happened. Mm -hmm. um, so it was difficult. It was difficult because I was really excited to like you know, connect with people, um, go out, but couldn't go anywhere. But get, you know what I did? I started doing online classes. I did three mm -hmm. online classes in 2020 that I was able to generate, generate revenue. When I lost my um, lost a job, I was out of work, professional nine to five work for four months. But I didn't feel the pinch because I was able to still create other ways of, you know, to, to make other resources of making money for my business. Yeah. So moving is going to be hard. We have to just mm -hmm. be determined and you have to have a game plan. You mm -hmm. have to strategize and write down how you're going to get your name out there. And Correct. that was one thing I did um, before I moved. I created flyers to say, hey, make my day artistry is moving to Texas you know, connect with me, did some deals. So just, you have to just make sure that you are in in control. Like it's mm -hmm. up to you basically. How how far you want to go is truly up to you when it comes to the hair and makeup business, I would say in my opinion. So yeah, but now I'm, I'm kind of settled now. Mm -hmm. um, I literally even block out my calendars because I don't want to get two books because I work nine to five as well. So <laughs> I'm so grateful. Um, yeah. Being diligent pays off.